Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Sir Kim Gianni, from the one and only G Status ATL Hustle. Okay, alrighty. So, obviously, you was on season one, so this is season two for you. Um, why did yeah. you decide to um, join season two? Well, I decided to join season two because, of course, I love what I'm doing. I love G Status. I love the show. I love the producers. And this was a platform that I started many years ago. Um, this is my third cast of people that I was around. Well, actually, my fourth, because season one was the third group of people that I was actually around. And season two is my fourth group of people. So for the first two pilots, I was the only one kept. And so for, from the first season, I was the one who actually also had to keep the show going. Then from there, also, um, just showing so much love for the show. I having so much love for the show. And then um, from Chasing Atlanta, I was so misled. For the first two seasons of Chasing Atlanta, I mean, I was not misled. I was so misunderstood is what I'm trying to say. My apologies. Not misled, everybody. <laughs> but I was misunderstood from Chasing Atlanta. So coming from Chasing Atlanta and being misunderstood and then going into G-Status season one, I was misunderstood again. So it was like, I cannot go off in that type of way. Then I got a whole lot of heart for this show. And then also becoming an executive producer for G Studies after season one, season two, I became an executive. So I got so much heart for the show and I wanted to go the right way. And I just decided to not just be the executive producer, also still remain a cast member and just give my all to the show and make sure it happens and make sure it excels and everyone succeed. And basically from what I've seen as far as filming, we filmed the whole past year of twenty nineteen. We got a great cast, and I'm so um, grateful that I did stay on and um, got a chance to get myself again to other group of people. Okay, okay. So obviously, season two has already, you know, been on a bit on YouTube already. Um, did you get recognized yes. a lot more after season one came out, or was it kind of like the same after chasing uh, Atlanta? No, you know what? Because um, again, I know I don't know if you may know Therese, but I was I started. G status before chasing Atlanta, and then uh, again because of those two pilots, it didn't pick up. I continued to do auditions, and then I got on chasing Atlanta. And so after chasing Atlanta started popping and stuff like that, there. So I yeah again I decided to stay on G status. I'm sorry, what was your question? I went all off topic. No, it's okay. Basically, I was just saying like, <laughs> <laughs> do you get recognized a lot when you're out oh. in Atlanta because of all the TV shows? Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. So, yeah, for me doing that and then um, from Chase Atlanta, I had got recognized in a certain type of light from Chase Atlanta. And then coming to G-Status, um, it was just more of a, I understand you a little bit more or I see you been on this show a little bit more or I like you on that show better because people got a chance to see a little uh, different light of me versus the messy aspect of what they saw me on Chase Atlanta. I most, I guess you Say I was a mess on G status at a certain point, but still you still got a chance to see more of the authentic part of me. So overall, people just come to me and tell me they love me, they like me. Um, and even Chasing Dallas, Akeem, you should be on Chasing Dallas, or even any other reality shows. Sometimes even Fashion Airs of Atlanta, any other reality show that they got going on 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 the web series on YouTube or anything, people feel like they're not popping off because Akeem was not on those shows. So people okay. just show me so, period. Period. Okay. So career-wise, where are you right now? What are you doing career-wise? Well, career-wise, I'm always going to be either customer service management. Like right now, I'm a team lead for customer service. I've done call centers for years where I'm just, I've gravitated and I'm not on the phones anymore. But so I did that for uh, doing uh, uh, administrative assistance. So that's basically what I do career-wise. That's how I make my money. That's my nine to five. Mostly girl working at McDonald's. Most of these girls probably ain't doing shit. We're going from house to house. I'm filling the post. Most of these girls fucking dick in the back alley and give them a $14. Get a Ooh. pizza. I'm not Ooh. doing that. I'm I made okay. my well, thing, period. Okay, well, speaking of the girls, now that you run the girls into it. Oh, the um, girls. Like, well, you like, said that. Um, the girls. We ain't going to skip over that. <laughs> girls, you said it first. <laughs> Who do you feel like was um, best dressed on the cast? Oh, you know what? I'm so glad you didn't ask me that about Chasing Atlanta, first and foremost. But we're speaking of G-Status, so this is a better dressed cast, period. No shade of Chasing Atlanta. So I, I said that to say, it's hard because these girls, everybody looks so good. Everybody's so attractive. 
Um, the best dress, I would say I love, everybody has their own fashion, I must say, to be honest and be unbiased. Because some people may think I'm not the best dress, but I still like my look. I still love me being me, who I am. And some people may not like it or gravitate towards it, and that's okay. But if you want to say it like that as far as fashion-wise, I love the fun fashions. I think, uh, do you know everybody that's on the cast? Before I say all of yeah, so, yeah, I, yeah, I know okay. everyone that's on the cast. Okay, great. So, um, so our guy. Our guy. Okay. And uh, sometimes, depending, I may guess what's going on, he could be a hit or miss. But for the most time, he's a lot of hits to me. Um, I guess you you just have to look at it and see everybody on personal style. So, on the person, I don't think everybody can wear everything with everybody else can wear. It just okay, everybody that makes sense. Everything. So basically, you, know? you just said like everyone has their own personal style. Everyone kind of gives it their all. Do you they, feel like there's anyone that doesn't dress that good on the show? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I think there are issues. Say it again. <laughs> Do you think there's anybody that doesn't dress that good on the show? Well, I think um, again, everyone on this cast is beautiful. I think there are some people that have issues, maybe with clothing and, and clothing, and they try to make it work. But I don't think it's the best. Um, like, say, for instance, I won't call no name, but I guess we'll be here because we're talking. Sherrod, he don't dress the best, but Sherrod don't have a whole lot of money also to dress the best. He have a great face. I'm saying he don't have a whole lot of money. He done did what he did, but obviously the amount of money that he made wasn't enough to give him enough coat. Okay, so, so he paid was enough, I guess, to keep him revealing. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that Sherrod is the worst dress because he doesn't have the coin to buy that the other cast can buy. That's part of what I was saying for his reason, but then we're going to move to the next person. Which I'm is, I think, the next person is Charlie Exile. I love Charlie, but Charlie is to me about a super fly. Have you seen I'm Gonna Get You Sucker? Super fly from the 80s? <laughs> you Look are up. Fly. I'm Gonna you Get You Sucker. Man. With the bell bottoms and the platform shoes. I mean, Charlie Comfort, everybody's like, girl, you have your own style. The bitch come from my eyebrows. The bitch try to come from my age. It's like, girl, you look like you are from the 80s. Now, I love you. And I've been there for you. And I protect you when people have your names in the motherfucking streets and say you paid $40, bitch. And I ain't take you for what? But you'll find out. But you know what I mean? I I, I looked out for you. Then you want to come at me. Are your eyebrows this and your eyebrows that? Girl, your asshole is this and your asshole is that. And so is your bell bottoms and old platform. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so. So the girls want to get shot. They come with a Yes, these girls are coming with twenty ones, bitch. I'm gonna come up with a motherfucking Uzi. Watch your twenty ones and your forty fives, bitch. I'm gonna chop your head off. It's a Uzi when a king comes. Period. Period. Okay. So, um, who is your favorite this season? Like, who's someone that you really, really like that's in the cast? Now, I ain't got to think about that right now. Of course, I think the most depth. Devoted one is Devon. And maybe that's where Devon's got okay. Devon, also Ike. Ike? Um, okay. Ike, Devon, I just put them at the same level. I can talk to them both individually and then at the same time together. And they're both understanding. And they had their own thing going on. They got time for no bullshit. <laughs> and you and um, Devon both was on Chase and Reality together. Um, yes. Were you happy that he was joining the G Status uh, season? I was so happy. I was overly happy because um, I actually um, helped, well, I don't want to say help bring Devon on. Devon talked and I talked about the auditions of G-Status. And then again, I was uh, an executive producer. So I let him know when there was audition going on. Asked him about it. I was like, do you want to come in and try to make up about our friendship with what happened on Chase Atlanta? Or do you want to try to come on for yourself? He's like, I want to come on for myself. So I gave him all information as for an audition. I was part of the judges would audition with everybody as well. Um, and the bunch came here, he did a great thing. So I think the bunch definitely a great team. And also, if you watch me, but to um, a man, our relationship. Okay, so Devon is clearly your favorite. Um, who is your least favorite this season? Ooh. Do you want me to go there? I think you probably have to wake up. I get along with everybody, though, believe it or not. 
I had some run I had some run in. I can't say that no one is my least favorite. I cannot say that because again, I will be shading myself, but I did have some run ins with some people and my I, my I, my reaction to my run ins was because I was hurt or a bother. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh speaking of run ins with people, um, do you feel like anyone on this season was kinda like Pump uh, you know, trying to show out for the cameras or do more because y'all was filming the show. Basically, okay. not being who they really were. Of course. Well, I can't say not being who they really were. It was just like some people show out for camera. Some people are gonna do extra mm-hmm. when the camera around. Some people uh, feel like, oh, or, uh, this person got a whole lot of shine or a whole lot of camera time, and I seen the way they did when they jumped off. So what can I do to make it happen? So I think sometimes it was a whole lot of authenticity there. It wasn't being authentic enough. Because like for me, some shit when it pop off, it's gonna pop off. Drama just happen. It happened. I'm not gonna sit there and make believe no type of drama. I mean people to make type of TV. It just happened. Um but some people have not, I've seen that some people have saw the type of character that I am as a person or the way I respond to certain situations they see the camera follow me every time. So what can I do to get that camera time with can do? It's already different. So they, I think right there, they're not being authentic. But it's still, they are being them authentic. They have just like, they're thinking, almost like premeditation. Right? Just the whole out. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, speaking of popping off, can you yes. tell me about a time, in your opinion, uh, what you feel like was the most dramatic event this season? Oh, my God. It was, let me tell you, every other reality show or web series on YouTube, they're going to have to back off for a chase. So the man worked with both of us. They're going to have to back off for a chase. I don't know if I get so many different. Well, in this person gave both, they wanted but I got it. Almost per episode. 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 Almost so if you watch the little short clip when they see yellow on my face and people put like, is that mustard? And you see me going off? That's cake. It's cake. Somebody switched cake that's in your face. Mm. Oh, wow. It's that's... premeditated. It's premeditated and I call that bitch out. And I called him. And in my, this in 2019 before the housewives even popped off. I called it, I called that bitch out. He was a motherfucking snake. Okay, so... Snake. And okay, this so is my so house. This is my house. I built this shit. Like I told you, somebody, yes, let me just say this real quick. Like I told you earlier, this is my house. I was been doing this show before Chase Atlanta came out. And there's a snake in the motherfucking grass. And that's a problem. The bitch is premeditated. I'm sorry. So go ahead. Let me answer your question. No, no, it's okay. You're good. So let's talk about fighting for a second. Obviously, you just said somebody put cake in your face. At that point, yes. I've never seen you put your hands on anyone. At that point, right. did you want to fight? Um, prior to that moment, I actually had had a physical, uh, physical or uh, whatever you call it, altercation. A physical altercation. I had a physical altercation prior to that, yes. And so you're right. You I physical altercation with. You're right. I did not ever want to put my hands on anyone. That's why I was filled in because I blacked the fuck out. What people don't realize. So I ended up having a physical altercation. Oh, you had to see it. You had to watch it. It was some shit going on. Like I said, if I did forty dollars, damn forty dollars get fucked, or whatever. So I end up getting in the midst of all that, and I got to fight with someone that I'm not a, a proud of it. But do you really want me to say it? You can say the name. Delicious and I had an altercation. Wait, are you the one that snatched her wig off? I didn't snatch it off. It came off. Uh-oh. It came someone, off. Someone told me that um her wig got snatched off. Well, they well, didn't say her. They said they said someone's wig got snatched off, and there's only two people on the cast that wear wigs. So <laughs> it was yeah. So wow. it, it, it wasn't snatched. It looked like it was snatched because everything was happening so fast with the trouble. And so she got hair down her back, and I was trying to get her off me and moving her like from the back, like grabbing her from the back. And move her. As I do that, it can all come off. I didn't go and see that. That's disrespectful. I wouldn't do her like that. Feel okay. me? I never wanted to fight her either. So, did you have to film with Delicious after y'all's altercation? Yes. 
And was that difficult for you to like have to be in the same element as people that you're just not really feeling? Or someone that you literally just had a physical altercation with? Not at all for Delicious because Delicious and I was never meant to go there. Again, I was in my from Delicious. A situation happened. Delicious was banging on my forehead. I had to get her the fuck off my forehead. Here. And so from there, so then with Delicious was never a period. Uh, I mean, a, 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 a problem. I love Delicious. I never meant to fight her. We were always friends. The problem was when the bitch smacked me with cake. But I couldn't, I couldn't get a chance to go and fight that bitch. So I was blacked out. Yeah, we was around a pool and everything. I know either I'm going to jail or these people can get slung as motherfucking pool, get her ass drowned tonight. So I was like, jail or hell? So I said, let me get the fuck on. Okay, I have so, a question for you. That's so, a um, the, the worst for me, filming with that snake. Not delicious. Jake, the motherfucking snake, as I call him. That's so, wait, so who was so delicious being put cake in your face? Not delicious, no. Who put cake in your face? Jake. The snake. Jay the snake. Jake. The Jake. snake. I don't think I don't I don't know I don't know who Jake is. Why why would Jake throw cake in your face? Because Jake was a premeditated snake. His name ain't Jake. That's the name I gave him. Jake the motherfucking snake. Jake the snake. That's the name you gave him. Okay, so do you feel like production plays a part in a lot of of the altercations and the situations that happened on this season? I guess you can say, um, well, I don't want to blame anything on production because that would be wrong for me. Blame anything on production because I want to update everything I did. Um, that's a, another growth that I had from the pri- previous seasons or, you know, other shows or whatever. So I want to own up anything I did. But my thing is, um, great question. That's a great question. Um, with this Jake the Snake situation, this person pulled me to the side prior to filming. After he and I, um, the, um, the bitches and I got a fighting or whatever, he and Delicious were friends. And so I was at a party, chilling with everybody. Yeah, I guess, like, again, I'm getting a lot of camera time. If bitch ain't getting shit, she's in a corner like she ain't torn him out. And so she ended up having the nerve to ask me to come in with him and talk about the situation with Delicious and I. And I wonder why when I walk to this fucking situation, I see him over there and see he's eating cake. Normally, when we film, we don't eat, don't do nothing. It's like if we drink, that's okay. If we eat, it's like we order food. But you ain't just eating a cake on the fucking thing all of a sudden. Even though we had a, a birthday party, so I kind of was thrown off. But so I decided I agreed to him. Okay, okay, I'll come up to him with you or whatever. We'll talk about it. He said, We ain't putting no hands on each other. We're just going to talk about the situation. And you know, so something can be stayed. So he was just saying, like, We're going to talk about it. It's going to get heated, but we're not going to fight. So I'm like, Cool. So in the middle of the situation, when we get heated, I guess my word maybe was over. Over top and he is, or he wasn't. But I had to say that because he wasn't there with Delicious and I. All of a sudden, I just seen boom. Okay. Your okay. So wait, 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 wait. And the bitch jetted it and ran. So oh, wow. Okay. So do you have any certain plans for the reunion? Mm, well, plans as far as my looks and what I'm gonna wear. Yes. Like, <laughs> is there certain things? But just wear. Is there certain people that you're gonna confront? Are you gonna throw cake in someone's face? Like, what is your plan? Not gonna, no, I'm never gonna throw cake in someone's face unless I am pushed to that limit. I would never go there and premeditate anything like that right there. Hopefully, my plans for the reunion would be to perform. I have um, a single coming out. Okay. Which is a clapback single. It's called FWM. Okay. FWM, fuck with me. You know, everybody say fuck with me, FWM. And the hook is fuck with me, though. So um, you'll see an episode where we kind of, you know, everything go crazy. That day I leave and I write my song and then I hit the studios or whatever. So you're going to, you're definitely going to see that. Um, what else did you ask me? I'm sorry. My phone. No, 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 no. That was a question. I, just, I, I basically asked you what, what plans on a reunion. Um, oh, 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 this I was gonna say, and I'm sorry. This is gonna get up. But what are my plans on a reunion? I really don't have any plans. I'm coming there just as a great person. Once I watch the show back, because you know how people get in confessional and they talk shit. So um, you never know what's gonna happen. But I don't have any plans. I plan on coming there as a king. I plan on looking good. Of course, I'm gonna talk shit. But I don't know. Plan on that fighting. But it depends on what I see. And how I'm feeling, then that's what they're gonna, they're gonna get. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um, will you do season three? 
of course I'm going to do season three. I, I, I will take the show to the railroad if I can because I really love this show. But even if there is a chance that I'm not a cast of the show, I still want to be an executive producer for as long as I can. So, yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay. You okay. know, <laughs> is there anything that you want to put out in the atmosphere when it comes to season two? Some, something that just might not be shown on the show? Is there something that you want to put out on your own words before everyone sees the show? Yes, I definitely want to put out, um, everybody just make sure y'all support, watch, tell a friend, tell a friend, all that good stuff, subscribe. I want to put a good, a good uh, atmosphere for you all to hear my music, um, listen to my voice, listen to my clap back, um, <laughs> put it in your car, drive it, drive around, put the kids in walk on Marta, play it in the club, stuff like that right there. And also, just get a chance to know me, make sure you go to my um, Instagram, Gianni. also go to my Facebook, Gianni. Um just support me, I love everybody, I'm so grateful for you all supporting me, for us, then it would be not, I will Know what I mean? If it wasn't for you, yeah. it for so just <laughs> put us and just watch the show. And I love to read the comments, and so that's it. I'm just trying to be more authentic. Yeah, well, I'm definitely excited to see you on this season. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Regardless of chasing or G status, you are good TV. Um, and I'm pretty sure, even though that you're, you know, trying to change some things around and be more of a, you know, you know, bigger figure to the younger people. I do feel like you're still going to be good TV, and I'm, I'm definitely excited to see where this thing's going to go. Um, I want to thank you so much for doing this interview. I think you did really good. Uh, it took us about four times, but it's okay. We got it together. <laughs>